Good morning class. Today I want to do injection giving procedure for OSP. So injection procedure for OSP, most you find uh, everything has been set for you. Even the patient has been positioned in such a manner that you can just go and jump. So there are just a few steps that you have to really learn about this procedure. And there are just uh, a few few that you need to, to do to maintain sterility. But then you'll be asking maybe to say that why isn't there maybe a drop there to look like it's a sterile procedure. So this one, you can just say that it's uh, more like semi-sterile, but not really a clean procedure, but again, not supposed to contaminate some steps. So as you start, what you're going to do is, uh, as usual, you wash your hands. So you come. Good morning, um, Mr. Luoya. Good morning. Okay. I'm student number two, and I've been assigned to give you an injection. Is there anything I can do for you before I begin? Okay. I said nothing. What about you? You're sleeping. How is it? Okay. It's okay. So at this moment, since he has allowed me, I can go now to the um, the preparations. So what I can do is I have to go now to the drug chart and uh, go to the examiner. So the drug chart is there and the paper for calculation. You're not supposed to calculate from the sterile field or this field here, though it's not really sterile, but no, no calculating from this area here. So they're going to tell the examiner, okay, my examiner, this is uh, Mr. Luboya, the Litwi, okay? He's um, uh, admitted in male general ward and is due for penicillin, uh, which is uh, maybe say the penicillin is at two here. So you can just pick out the one that he's supposed to receive now, which is ampicillin. So he's receiving ampicillin, um, 500 milligrams, QID. Then the root is IM, meaning intramuscular. Then the, the times that he's supposed to receive are 0, 6, 12, 18, and 22, meaning four times. Then the date is 19th, then tomorrow 20th, the other day 21st. So this is the, date, the column for the date for today. So after you do that, you confirm with the examiner. Now you can go and calculate. How you calculate? you need to come to the ampicillin itself. So you need to look, just look, so it's saying ampicillin sodium, okay? So the expiry date is um, 31st um, December uh, 2022, and then um, it's 500 milligrams, then you're supposed to dilute with uh, three to five mils of water for injection. So you just have to read from here, but not touching the drug. Just read from afar, don't touch the drug. Then after that, you're going to write the formula so you calculate from here. So the formula has to be um, like this. You need to say uh, doctor's orders or doctor's order, which is DO, is equal to want over half. Okay, want over half times volume. What I mean is that want is a drug ordered, then have is a drug in stock. So drug ordered is want, then have is available stock. So in this case, want, what do you want to administer? What you want to administer for W, want, meaning it's this 500 milligrams here. So the 500 milligrams is what we want to administer. So I'm going to put it on W, 500 milligrams. Then over half. So on the uh, bottle there, which is uh, the valve, you read that it's supposed to be 500 milligrams in stock. So in stock here, we have uh, 500 milligrams. So you write half, meaning available stock, 500 milligrams times volume. The volume said you can dilute from 3 to 5. In this case, we are giving intramuscular. So we're going to multiply by maybe say 3, which is minimum number. So after that, that's, that's the volume, so we are going to say equals to, so we are going to cancel, milligrams will go millig uh, with the other milligrams, then 500 with the other 500, then the 3 will remain. So uh, after you do the math, which is uh, 1, 1, 1, 1, so 1 times 3, the answer will remain 3. So this will be the amount to give, so which is uh, 3 mils from this volume, so it will be 3 mils. So here, doctor's order meaning that we are going to give three meals. Now the good part with OSC is that 
the drug has already been uh, diluted for you there, so it's up to withdraw. So these, what we do, you even put this in your apron or dust coat. So you can do that. Or you can even give the examiner this part. Okay. So after you do that, now you can even go and uh, prepare this part. So you can uh, give spirit. Okay. Spirit you can pour there. Okay. From there, you go behind again. You open up uh, two needles here. So let me just go behind so that you see what I mean. So you can... Um, Pass behind so that it's easy for you to drop the needles. One, you just peel like this. Since it's uh, open to peel, then you drop. This is the first one. Then this has to go the bottom receiver. Then again, you're going to peel this like that. Then the third thing you're going to do is you're going to peel the syringe. So I'm going to do that with the syringe. You're going to open, depending on what the instruction is. I'm going to peel like that. So after you have prepared the needles, two needles and one syringe, then at this moment you can do the second hand washing. But before you do that, you know there is uh, that point of uh, verification where you should verify three times. So you can ensure that you verify again here on the drop chart, the patient, so that the examiner can mark you. So you can go. Uh, to the patient, what did you say your name is, sir? Meaning you're verifying who this patient is. Then this patient to answer, uh, is, he has answered to say is Mr. Luwoya. Okay, so I put back. So he's Mr. Luwoya. So at least I've verified again. Then before injecting, I have to verify. So meaning at least I've tried to ensure that it's three times. Okay, so this, the scrubbing is the same. Just go like that. Then do this, okay? Can do that. So for you, you have to be very fast so that you finish the procedure. Now, somebody will ask, why am I not getting the uh, sterile and, wa and washing uh, towel from there? Why am I not getting from there? So I have to just get uh, my person. So we're not getting from anywhere there, but you have to get your personal hand uh, towel. So you can just dry the same. So that's under injection. Use your personal hand towel. Okay, but you dry the same. Okay, so we go to the third one. Okay, then fourth, you go behind like that. Okay, so since it's personal, you can even put it in your pocket. Okay, so after this, now you have to go to the uh, sterile field there so that you try to dilute. So what you do at this particular moment, you have to get the syringe like this and then you get the needle like that. Okay, then you put. So there are the issues here, you just have to put like this, then you get the drug. Okay, so once you get the drug, some, some people wipe on top there, but it's okay, don't wipe. Then you can remove the cup there, throw there, then get the uh, needle and syringe, then you have to go in like this, okay? Once you do that, you know that you're supposed to only withdraw three mils. So this part with the graduations has to face you so that you see where three mils will be. So even uh, put it up like this, then you start drawing like this. So then the, if you look at the needle, it's just there in the solution or in the drug. It's not high up there where there's no drug. So it has to be where there's a drug so that you be able to draw the drug. Okay. So at this moment, you draw like this. The drug is coming. So that's two. Then you go up to three there. Okay. So once you reach three, you can remove. Okay. And after you remove, the drug can be put down. But then at this moment, um, you're supposed to remove this needle. So this is what the issue is. You're not supposed to touch anywhere, but you're going to get this part here of the uh, cotton wool and do this here. Once you do that, then you remove the needle. Okay. 
So at this moment, this can go into the sharps box. You can find the sharps box and throw it in the sharps box, okay? And get this other needle and connect it that way. Once you do that, now you can prepare the swabs. So you can do that. So you can just put even um, one or two, okay? So you can put two spirited swabs and don't forget a dry swab that you can put it there. So at this particular moment, you have to just uh, move this up to there since the patient is close by, okay? So my assistant kindly exposed the patient for me so, so that uh, you were able to see. So, sir, what did you say your name is? My assistant is exposing. Then I have to ask again. Sir, what did you say your name is? He has said again is Mr. Luboya. So meaning that I've verified again. I've asked what his name is. So he has told me is Mr. Luboya. So that verification again, now I can go ahead and inject. So now get a spirited swab to divide the buttock. So how you divide the buttock? You're going to follow the demarcations. So at this moment, the demarcations you're going to follow are these here. You're going to look out for, I wanted to draw so that you see. But then you, you can go for the for this part here. If you look at this part, this part is called the iliac crest. Okay, it's called the iliac crest. So the iliac crest is here. Then when you come to this part of the buttock, this we call it ford of the buttock. Then this is iliac crest, ford of the buttock. Then this part here we call it the sacrum. Okay. This is the sacrum, so I'm going to say sacro, sacro area. Then this part here, this is where we have a joint, so it will be greater trochanter. So greater trochanter, where there is a, a joint, you know where the femur is, so greater trochanter. Then here, sacrum, iliac crest, fold of the buttock. So now how you divide, you're going to say that I will make a line, so I'm going to make an imaginary line. You're going to imagine there's a line from the iliac crest, to the ford of the buttock. As you can see, it goes down straight. From the iliac crest to the ford of the buttock, that line there, that's an imaginary line. Then another line will be from the greater trochanter to the sacrum. So as you can see, it forms a plus here. So it, it has formed something like this. Let, let me just uh, try to make you see the line that it has formed. When you divide from the iliac crest, to the fold of the buttock, which is here to there. It makes a line like that. Then from the greater trochanter to the sacrum, it forms a line like this. So it forms a plus, if you like. So iliac crest to the fold of the buttock, greater trochanter to the sacrum. So it leaves you with how many quadrants? Four quadrants. There is this quadrant, that quadrant, one buttock, this is another buttock. You're not supposed to go to this buttock. This is another one. Then we are only focusing on this buttock. So there's this quadrant, that quadrant, this quadrant, and that quadrant. So these are lower quadrants. Then these are upper quadrants. So the sciatic nerve goes from here, from the upper quadrant here, which is inner, then goes to the outer, lower quadrant, somewhere there. So the sciatic nerve passes. So we don't want to inject in the sciatic nerve. So we go to the upper, outer quadrant, where there is no sciatic nerve. So that's why we inject. So in this case, uh, that's an imaginary line which has been drawn for you. So I'm, I'm going to even tell the examiner that I will inject in the upper, outer quadrant. So let me just remove this so that uh, since you have seen, I can inject. So from the iliac crest to the foot of the buttock, from the greater trochanter to the sacrum. So I will inject in the upper outer quadrant. So you even get spirited swab, then you swab once like that. Then you throw in the receiver. Then you get your um, syringe, which has got medicine. Then you can remove, okay? You can just pull and remove. Then you can get a dry swab and hold it. So how you go, Mr. Luboya, it will be a little bit painful. So you support. If the patient is um, emaciated, you can bring the skin together and inject. If the patient uh, is not emaciated and uh, the wall belt there, there's a lot of flesh, you can just more like do this so that it is not painful. Then you go 90 degrees, okay? So this is going 90. 
like that okay ensure that it goes in up to there at least meaning that it's in the muscle then once it does that you hold and support you want to see is it in a blood vessel so you need to hold there and pull a little bit so that you see just you can just say you draw so that you see is there any blood coming if there is no blood coming meaning it's not in the blood vessel you are free to inject if there is blood coming you're not supposed to inject we don't want the drug to go in the blood vessel so you have to uh, redo the procedure so since it's not in the uh, blood vessel you can just now inject like that you support and inject so after you give an injection you're supposed to hold there and remove the needle like that then hold okay just by pressing do not try to shake just squeeze just like that and then since blood has stopped coming out you remove and throw the needle and syringe straight in the sharps box so this has to go straight in the sharps container as you discard it no recapping okay so at this moment you have to go to the patient thank you very much mr lawyer for allowing me to do the procedure i'm doing this procedure so that you get better fast you know medication will, will help you recover quickly so at this moment you're supposed to get your bopen and uh, do a signature so we are going to sign since this is uh, 18 hours we're going to sign there so we're going to put your signature or your initial to show that you have given so i've put cs because those are my initials cs meaning that uh, this is 18 hours i've signed and then this is uh, an indicator that uh, medication has been given so i have to go to the in charge and report to say that um, i have given ampicillin 500 milligrams to mr luboya and i've left the patient comfortable so this is uh, injection giving people this is what we do so the last part we're going to do is again you do the hand washing Okay, so this procedure seems to be very, very long, but uh, it's a short procedure. It's just that I was trying to emphasize on some few points. So if you keep practicing, you find that it's a very, very short procedure. So pay particular attention to calculations as well as to those points where you're supposed to remove the first needle and uh, demarcating on the, on the quadrant you're supposed to inject. So those are the particular points you're supposed to really remember and don't forget how to do it. So for you not to forget, uh, you have to watch the video and practice. Thank you very much for watching.